We had such a good time. This is the first night of our big Montana tour. Yeah. And we're going to start off with a, uh, the first bluegrass song that I made up. I like to start with that one because then I remember who I am and what I'm doing. It's one called A Broken Tie. <laughs>
rocky, but it won't be rocky long. Yeah, the moon is rocky, but it won't be rocky long. Another woman has got my man and gone. Thanks very much. The last time we were here, uh, I think we just had one CD uh, with this band. Uh, since then, we have a, a new one with the band, and, and I've got a new solo one as well. Um, but we're going to do the title song from that first record now. And um, I wrote this song about the bluegrass ideal of the little cabin home. Now, let me know, are, are you all familiar with bluegrass? Are you big bluegrass fans? Or Yeah, okay. So you know, you know about the little cabin home, and you know how it can come to mean something more than just the, the place you live, right? It's, it's kind of a, a state of mind, too. Um, we have a little feedback, and I think it's on my vocal mic. Uh, if, if you uh, want, you can turn the mic down, and I'll just get louder, because I can do that. Okay. This is one called Where Is My Little Cabin Home? <laughs> because uh, uh, since we don't know all of you, you know, you might like to hear the old songs mixed in with the new. And uh, so we, t we talked about a, about a dozen different songs before we ran out here, and I said, let's, let's do the Kentucky Waltz. That's one that Bill Monroe wrote about his home state. And uh, 
we don't do it too often. Mostly if people want to dance a waltz, that's when we, we might pull this one out. So if you want to, you can feel free. Yeah. The Kentucky Waltz. What? Oh, he's working on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you want to start? This? I don't think it's it, the sound man can go out and dance because you know, we're, we're too dependent on him. Do you want to do that long once more? Hmm? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, sure. If you want oh, yeah. to. It was pretty great getting to hear Annie play the fiddle on that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. If she was in a fiddle contest, that would have been the waltz, and this next one would be the hoedown. And then you'd have the tune of your choice. It'd be interesting. Oh. <laughs> um, I want to tell you that if you ever feel like hooping and hollering in the middle of a song, if you hear something that makes you so excited you have to jump up and go, yeah, go head on. We like that. <laughs> We like that. I like to be that person in the audience, and we like to have those people in the audience, too. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to the person playing fiddle with us, standing on my right, your left as you're looking. This is Annie Staninitz. She's going to play you the North Carolina Breakdown. Thank you. 
it's Annie Staninitz playing the North Carolina break-in. We have an old-time song now, and this is one that uh, comes from Rose Maddox and the Maddox Brothers. Um, those of us that uh, were playing bluegrass in Northern California in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s had the chance to see Rose Maddox, maybe even lucky enough to play with her, and she always sang this song. Uh, Annie, you only got in on the very tail end of that. I don't know if you ever ever got to see Rose Maddox, but... I did. You did? At the Grass Valley Bluegrass okay. Festival. Cool. I might have even seen you backing her up. There. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, one that Annie learned from uh, Mike Seeger and the Strange Creek Singers, and uh, for a long while we thought we had two different versions of it, but I had the chance to... Uh, uh, Ask uh, Alice, uh, where did you guys get that song? And she said, oh, we got it from Rose Maddox. So it's, it's the same song, one called The Old Black Choo Choo. One, two,
have a friend who uh, is much more of an ornithologist than I am. Also, she knows a lot about birds. <laughs> and uh, that afforded me the opportunity to do a little fact checking and, and correct some stuff I had wrong in this next song. called Bird. A bird lay on the windowsill with a broken wing, but its heart beat still and its black feet I had a look to kill. I was afraid. I've been hurt by a bird before, even if it's hurt. It can still make war with its razor beak. It can leave deep scars, but I still reach out my hand. Because a mighty heart lifts that feathered breast. One broken dream shouldn't end the rest. Again, I can still reach out my Birds the same or just looks alike With a different name I just recognize I look up and I'm this wounded bird again So maybe if I wear thick gloves Maybe if my heart is filled with love I wonder what it is I'm so scared of looking at this wounded bird a mighty heart lifts that feathered breast. One broken dream shouldn't end the rest. And my own life still can't stop this fool again. I can still reach out my about you. <laughs> it depends on what you say. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to the person playing the dobro and the banjo. 
and the dobro and the banjo. And also singing with us from Anchorage, Alaska. He left there at 11 o'clock last night to get here. Yep. Well, he slept for an hour. This is Greg Booth. We're going to do a tune right now that features the whole band. And uh, it's a song that was written way, way back, back before Alaska was a state <laughs> about the panhandle of Alaska called Panhandle Rag. <laughs>
Craig Booth playing the dobro. Annie Staninitz playing the fiddle. And playing the bass from Seattle, Washington, this is Carrie Black. That is a completely true story. Okay. Uh, those of you that have been to my house, you'll know it's, that ain't nothing but the truth. And, you know, we go around fixing things all the time. There's always something in, in the works, but, you know, other things break down. I have to say that broken window, though, it's, it's stymied us. We've never even tried to fix it. And, and it's because it's the one that looks out on the most beautiful view in our house. So then you have to wonder, why wouldn't they fix the broken window that looks out on the beautiful view? And the reason why is that every time we have someone come to talk about putting in a new window, they want to sell us these triple-pane laminated casement things 
that make it so you can't really see the view because it's just a lot darker and kind of so we just stick with the the broken window. Just get Greg, rid of the window altogether. What? You could just get rid of the window altogether. And, and just have air. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the summertime that'd be so nice. <laughs> I mean, we live in the Bay Area. It's not like here where you can't really have the, the window open sometimes. All right, we're going to sing a bluegrass number for you now, and this is uh, one we love to do called I'd Rather Be in Some Dark Holler. tune for you. She's got one called Roscoe.
We have a song we're going to do now that uh, I promised Phyllis we would have this song worked up by tonight. It's a brand new one for us. Um, I made it up. It's got a lot of words, so I have them written down there. I'll try and try and sing them from heart, but might not. Um, I was inspired to write this after the last time we were here. I've not been in Montana very many times. This is my third time in Montana, but it made a big impression on me last time, and uh, I just kept thinking about falling asleep back there in the Ruby Jewel beautiful motel room and hearing that stream flowing out back and, um, and how sweet it was and how if you'd grown up here, it would be hard to leave. So I wrote this song and uh, we're just, we're just kind of getting to know it, so bear with us. One called My Montana Home.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was about 70% of the words, so, you know. <laughs> Next time you'll hear all the words. <laughs> Um, we're really excited to uh, spend the next week driving around in this beautiful state. Um, we're uh, going to be here until Friday when uh, we leave Bozeman. No, Saturday. We leave Bozeman and make the long drive back to Spokane. Um, very full of stories to tell and, and beautiful imagery. Uh, maybe, maybe some people in the band might take pictures. It oh, could yeah. happen, yeah. And they might post them on Facebook and... You know, it could happen. It could happen. So we're going to do one more, and uh, we'll take a, a little intermission. Um, we all want to go out and, and get something to drink at the bar, and um, we got CDs aplenty out there at the table. There's some, uh, there's a conspiracy behind me, but <clears throat> I'm just going to continue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could feel the rabbit ears were on their way. <laughs> this is a song I made up especially to sing with Annie because she keeps me light at heart. It's one called Time. Time. 